Okay, let's now uh, set the duration uh, of the subtasks. It's uh, not the intention to set uh, the duration of main tasks. Those will be calculated automatically. So don't touch them. You should only touch the light blue tasks. Uh, don't touch milestones. They have a duration of zero. By convention. Okay, let's first um, enable an extra column which shows the duration. Uh, if you hover on uh, above the column titles and you hit right mouse click and you select manage columns and you look for the field duration you can make it visible by show selected hit ok and now we have a duration column so uh, you could uh, enter the durations directly in this column um, Like, assume that uh, the market survey will take 10 days. Uh, determine the requirements will take 5 days. And analysis report available. Yeah, that's a milestone, so we leave that at zero. Um, some people are confused about the meaning of duration. It doesn't mean how many days work or how many hours work something is um, it has more to do with how long will it take for this task to finish in real life like doing this market survey uh, probably it's not that much work to do that I mean you have to uh, to design your uh, survey questions, you have to distribute the survey, but okay, probably it's, that's maybe one day work or so. So why do we fill in here 10 days? Because we know it will take quite some time before enough people have filled in the survey. It will also take some time to uh, process the survey results. So it's a good guess to take 10 days for this and not less so always reason in that way eh? what is the expected real life duration of a task not how much work is it okay so user interface let's say it's 10 day it takes 10 days to design this uh, the mock-up prototype let's say this takes five days there are uh, other ways to um, fill in uh, those duration values. Eh? Another way of doing it is to double click uh, the dot to the left of the task. Then you get a pop-up screen. And you see that you have here also a um, duration field. So let's assume this takes seven days. Days are, by the way, working days. Eh? So, uh, if um, so, weekends, for example, are not counted. So, if you fill in five days, um, that is actually seven calendar days. Digital marketing, five days. Design accepted as a milestone, so I don't touch that. Implementation, I don't touch that because that's an. Uh, main task don't touch those they are calculated automatically uh, build user interface let's say this takes 20 days build the backend takes 20 days Build the marketing logic takes 20 days. And this is a milestone, so I will not touch it. And then the internal testing. Let's say we test during 10 days. Uh, you should keep it realistic. And for example, internal testing, um, assuming that something like this would take two days, that would be... Um, yeah. 
unacceptable um, testing is something you should give uh, some time to uh, to mature so uh, 10 days is a good guess uh, implementation correction so let's give it eight days to correct the errors we find during the internal testing external testing um, I will give that one also 10 days and again then eight days to correct any errors we find okay so now we have estimated the duration of every individual task by the way it's not an error that here uh, the summary tasks shows a duration of 10 days eh? you should not think that it has to be the sum of the values underneath um, that has nothing to do with that um, that will depend on how uh, the tasks are aligned on the time axis and uh, by looking at that the main task will show a duration but for that we will have to link the tasks which is uh, the next topic thanks for watching